Knoxville Center for Reproductive Health. You're wicked baby killers, and God is going to toss you into the lake of fire. God hates you, baby killers. Shame on you. God did not give you the right to murder a child. That is wicked and straight from the pits of hell. God hates the shedding of innocent blood. No murder will inherit the kingdom of God. You wicked devils are going to bust hell wide open if you don't repent. Repent! Repent, baby killers! Repent, baby butchers! You should be ashamed of yourselves. You should be ashamed of yourselves. You should be wearing a butcher's apron. Shame on you. And shame on you neighborhood people that support these baby killers. You're responsible because you allow a holocaust you do nothing to stop the murder. Shameful. Jesus is coming back with a flaming, fiery sword to take vengeance on those who know not God and obey not the gospel. Jesus is coming back with a fiery sword to cut you wicked monsters in half. You are worse than Jeffrey Dahmer. You're worse than Hitler, torturing little babies to death, day in and day out, crushing their little skulls and sucking their brain matter out, ripping their arms and legs off, ripping their intestines out. Disgusting. God is angry with you. God is angry with you. You should be ashamed of yourselves. It would be better for you to live under a bridge than to do this. Better for you to live under a bridge as a bomb than assist in the murder of children day in and day out. Vengeance is God's. He will repay. Your old baby's blood is going to cry out against you, Mama. Your own baby's blood will cry out against you. Your own baby will tell God, there she is. There's my mama who murdered me. Blood for blood, your own life will be required by God because you murdered your baby. The only way you can get forgiveness is to not murder your child. If you've already murdered your child, you need to repent because you're going to hell. You must be born again. You must be born again. You must repent of all of your sins. You don't even know that you have another day on this planet. You could die in a car accident today and boom, you're going to be facing a holy God. What are you going to say to him? You could die on that abortion table. Mama, it's not that safe. Women die from abortions all the time. And you're going to be facing Jesus Christ. And he's going to ask you, what were you doing? 